I'm Ryan O'Dowd, and you're listening to Ryan's Audiobooks on the Issues Magazine YouTube channel. Today we continue with Section 7-7 of the Chaldean Oracles of Zoroaster. Soul Nature For the soul being a bright fire, by the power of the Father remains immortal, and is mistress of life, and possesses many complexions of the cavities of the world. For it is in imitation of the mind, but that which is born hath something of the body. The channels being intermixed, she performs the works of incorruptible fire. Next, the paternal conceptions indwelt by the soul. Warm, heating all things, for he did put the mind in the soul, the soul in the dull body. Of us the Father of gods and men imposed abundantly animating light, fire, ether, and worlds. For several works coexist with the intellectual light of the Father, for the soul which adorned the great heaven and adorning with the Father. But her horns are fixed above, but about to the shoulders of the goddess, immense nature is exalted. Again, indefatigable nature commands the worlds and works, that heaven drawing an eternal course may run, and the swift sun might come about the center as he pleases. Look not into the fatal name of this nature. This concludes section 7-7 of the Chaldean Oracles of Zoroaster. Soul, nature. Tomorrow we continue with section 7-8, the world.